Welcome to the channel. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Now join me in today's video where I'll be reviewing the San Martin 62 Mass Homage. This is the new and improved version, a watch which comes with much smaller dimensions than previously. I've done various comparisons with the 62 Mass Homage. Uh, I've compared uh, the San Martin directly with the Heimdaller versions. Now, my opinion kind of changed from when I first looked at the Heimdaller and the San Martin both. The, the dimensions were a bit too big. So when I first saw 54 watch and they came out with their 62 mass homage, um, I absolutely fell in love with it to the point I've still got one. To me, this watch uh, is probably the best homage, uh, especially at this point when I got it. Um, and then Seaston came about and Seaston brought out a much improved version to the case that 54 watch came out with and they added some of their own features um some really nice premium level of brushing you know that polished highlight around the edge of the case domed crystal you know ceramic insert loom date wheel cracking dial colors and you know you know the rest so you know they have been reviewed on the channel so you can check them out so this san martin has got quite a lot um to obviously step up to now we know about san martin that they do make really incredible watches uh, and they do sit at the top tier of AliExpress. Um, so I'm really interested to see how this watch performs, if they've done it justice, and can this really be a comparison with the other 6-2 mass homages out there. So this review is going to spawn another few videos where I look at this version from San Martin against the Seastern, of course, against the 54 watch, uh, and, you know, anything else that I can think of. So we'll move these two out the way and we shall focus on this model from San Martin. Now you can see it comes on a bracelet. I've got this sunburst grey dial and I'll also put up the price in the bottom left corner. Now this watch does come with a PT5000 movement. It has a domed sapphire crystal with some slight AR coating. You can see it's got a ceramic bezel insert, a full 316L stainless steel case construction. So let's give you guys some dimensions. So the case diameter is 38 millimeters with the bezel. Now the bezel does protrude from either side. So the case is going to be a little bit smaller. And let's see if I can get a measurement of the case alone. So the case alone comes in just under 37 millimeters. The thickness is 13 millimeters and a log to log of just under uh, 47 millimeters and close to 46 and a half millimeters. A nice chunky crown at 6.8 millimeters, a 20 mil log width, and an overall weight of around 160 grams and 200 meters of water resistance. So let's check out this San Martin. So let's start off with the obvious things, things that you can see before we move on to things that you can't see. So the first thing is, is this beautiful gray sunburst style. I absolutely love this color. And you've got the San Martin hex logo applied just below the 12 with the polished frame and that polishing present on the actual logo. And now that is surrounded by large baton arrow markers with that thick polished frame around each and every single one, allowing you to have some really good reflective properties from this dial. Now you do have a date window at three o'clock, which has been nicely framed with a chamfered or beveled edge window. And you've got this white printed mini track that goes around the dial. So pretty standard looks for a 6-2 mass homage. Uh, as we know with all the homages, they all have a very similar setup. Now the handset used is slightly chamfered on either end. And it is a fully polished handset. And you've got this mini baton on the second hand, which is done to perfection. Really nicely polished hands. And yeah, the dial and the handset, there's no issue on that. You know, they are impeccable really well done and it is a very simple dial extremely legible dial as well i just love the hour markers that are present now the crystal is slightly top hat it is domed with some slight ar coating very nice crystal really adds some depth to that dial and now that is surrounded by a ceramic bezel insert with some white markers with a pip at the 12 o'clock which sits in this steel bezel with a coinage style and it features 120 clicks and it turns in a unidirectional fashion And the bezel being from San Martin is perfect. Great amount of resistance. Precise clicks. Uh, yeah, no alignment issues. A very nice bezel indeed. The crown function, slightly gritty on the screw out, 
but it's a good size crown. Uh, you do need a larger crown with a PT5000 movement in my personal uh, experience because you do need a fair bit of torque uh, in order to obviously wind that movement. Now, there is one thing which uh, I say I don't like on this style is this white text. That is the only thing which stands out on the dial as not being quite right um, I think it does make it look slightly cheap and I have seen it on other homages and that is the only one thing that which does bother me on all these homages uh, I think the text should be black maybe it should be a, just a thinner font uh, and something for it to blend in slightly rather than stand out because you've got this beautifully brushed uh, sun ray gray dial you've got this nicely polished applied logo you know with the polishing and the bead blasting and this polished hour markers and then you get this just normal thick white text and that for me just doesn't seem right let's go ahead check out the loom because that loom is going to be absolutely incredible and as i said super super bright loads of layers of c3 luminova applied you've got the pip at 12 o'clock all the large hour markers and the hands just shine perfectly no issues to that loom this is going to be a very legible loom it's going to last a fair bit of time as well and you know the loom on most 6-2 mass homages are absolutely brilliant and again just crazy visibility now moving on to the case you'll see on the a surface you've got some nice fine circular brushing not satinized brushing you can just see some grain present but very nicely done now the case of a 6-2 mass homage it is extremely simple i've said that before uh, so you know you don't need to do too much finishing uh, in order for it to look great and you know i like something which seaston did for example that was something quite different subtle yet different now you turn the watch along the side you'll see a flat side fully polished of course with a nice curve drilled end logs following it around on the crown you'll see the san martin logo and a similar shape to the other side and same level of finishing mirror polish let's keep giving this a clean now, I haven't got war gloves for this review for a very particular purpose, which I'll tell you shortly. Now, turning the watch on its back, you'll see quite a thick case back, screw down, of course. San Martin's Polish Shark, and you've got specifications which go around the watch. This is the Sub 0007X San Martin Sapphire Stainless Steel, etc. Now, you can see the solid end links of that bracelet. So, let's move on and talk about the bracelet. That is one thing which has been missing from pretty much all of the 62 mass homages is a very decent bracelet now i am aware seastern have got a bracelet version don't worry i do have one of those in as well so like i said this is going to be quite a few videos comparing the san martin seasons etc but just focusing on this san martin you've got these hexad style links i do like the way they've been done uh fully brushed of course and you've got this polished lip on the end which gives it a very nice appeal, really good look as well. And San Martin do make some of the best bracelets. Now, I mentioned earlier that these were kind of female end links. Well, you know, the link does turn down uh, and you do have a bit more articulation present, but it stays there due to the shape of the link. It doesn't go past that. So effectively, this is going to sit on a wrist size of around, what's that, 57 millimeters. So that is quite large and I think, you know, that will uh, work against that 47 millimeter log to log just due to these bracelet end links. Now, my personal preference has always been uh, on this 6-2 mass homage is a rubber or a tropical strap. And even for the 6105 8110 Captain Willard, I just like these two watches to be on straps and I think... Uh, this is where they look the best but that's just my opinion now of course people wanted a decent bracelet so San Martin have done that um, and you know aside from the finishing I gotta say this is quite an edgy bracelet now this is why I haven't worn gloves because uh, this is a bit of a concern now I understand the 6-2 mass as I said it's a simple shape uh, you just got two sides and you know the case is quite edgy in actual looks but in feel as well I'd say this is a very edgy case. Um, if I put my hands and fingers just at the underside of this case, this is quite a serious edge. Uh, it's not sharp enough to cut, but you can definitely feel uh, that scraping your skin. Uh, and it does stand out as, as I said, of just a very edgy case. Uh, and it's not good because this is going to be sitting on your wrist. Now, the bracelet as well, uh, it's edgy all over. Um, you know, I think they've taken a step backwards in their bracelet making um, because just touching these is just full of edges all the way around. 
and they are uncomfortable you know when you wear this watch over a day or a couple of days you'll definitely find it digging into your wrist um and you know it does kind of spoil it for me now is there any other edginess there's also edginess present on the sides and centers of these links um and it just doesn't feel refined uh, like some of the bracelets do and the price is still around 250 pounds so in around 300 ish dollars um yeah so it's not ideal and i think a lot of people will definitely notice just the edginess of the bracelet it's present everywhere now i just want to bring your attention to just a couple of these links let's zoom in slightly and you will see some rather poor finishing so that transition between that polished highlight on that link to that brushing just look how poor that is it's not straight cut you see it's a bit jagged and this is something which again i haven't seen from san martin someone's not done their job right yeah so a bit of an edgy watch um and i want to see how this fits on wrist so i will size this and get back to you guys here's the san martin 62 mass homage the 37 slash 38 millimeter and this is sized to my six and a half inch wrist now in terms of proportions of the case um it is quite nice it does fit well centered to the wrist uh and you know even those end links they don't seem to have an effect on how it does wrap around the wrist what i will say though they don't go past that point so if you've got a wrist smaller than six and a half inches it might weigh slightly big which it isn't supposed to because it is a smaller watch now the bracelet as well does fit nicely on the wrist and for the most part it looks quite good now i bet you're all wondering what's the comfort like seeing as i mentioned those sharp edges now i've had this on wrist for a few days and i do feel it now and then the main part i feel is on the wrist bone there now of course a lot of that will depend on how you wear your watch now the way i wear my watches is you've got just about a finger gap to my wrist i don't wear them overly tight if you wore it a bit tighter yes you will feel quite a bit of discomfort due to those sharp edges so i felt it mainly just close to my wrist bone because it does have just that touch bit of slack in there and i do feel some of those edges on the bracelet or the wrist so after a couple of days you'll see some red marks here and there yeah it's uh, not as comfortable as i'd like it to be as i stated those edges you will feel and of course there is a lot of factors that determine how much you'll feel right your wrist size um, and of course how you wear it so yeah not overly impressed with the comfort of it i would definitely would like to take this off and you know wear it on a rubber strap or a leather one as i mentioned earlier now for this portion of the review i am going to try and justify my tagline on the thumbnail so to my left i've got a very nice potato here and this is the watch to my right so let's see how much damage it does and i'm not going to apply too much pressure just slightly just to let you know um you know how edgy this watch is and yeah there you go it's doing a pretty decent job of peeling that potato uh, let's see the bracelet yeah and yeah look at that it, it is it is quite edgy guys um you know that's not a good sign in fact let's give it some more peels yeah and you know what it's doing a better job than the potato peel i've got in my drawer but yeah are you spending 300 dollars for a potato peeler I don't know uh you know fun and jokes aside let's get a bit serious let me clean this up and come back uh, so i can summarize so to summarize where do we stand with this watch well first and foremost let's talk about the things that are good i like the new and improved dimensions of the case of course really nice dial aside from that you know thicker white text that i mentioned earlier on the bezel is perfect you know no issues on that bezel really nice rotation I love that top hat style dome sapphire crystal you know the pt5000 uh, moved of course now that is quite subjective because i still think the seiko nh35 is a far more reliable movement however as you know with the pt5000 you got a high b and a clone of the eta now price has to come into it uh you know the price is 250 something pounds which is around 300 dollars for the pt5000 movement add another 100 if you want the sw200 now with the problems that i mentioned uh, and mainly just being around you know the edginess and the finishing of the case I, I think that's a lot of money right um you know the bracelet is okay like i said the finishing on my particular one did suffer there was a slight qc issue on uh, one of the links that i showed earlier where the finishing wasn't crisp uh as they normally are on the san martins where it was quite edgy of course the edginess on the case um the bracelet 
end links as you saw it didn't really bother me on my six and a half inch wrist but like i said if you go any smaller it might be an issue and it will wear differently on so many different wrists uh, so i think on this one i can confidently say that number one it is too expensive 300 dollars um you know they are much better much cheaper alternatives out there now as i mentioned at the start of the video i do have the seaston 62 mass homage not only with a rubber strap but with a bracelet as well so i'll definitely be interested in comparing that bracelet but you know with regards to those edges on the case and bracelet maybe we can flip it positively for san martin maybe they have created the ultimate tool watch while you are out in the field in the woods if you need to ever take some bark off a tree you know to help you light your fire maybe peel a potato for your lunch or if you are in the ocean diving and you come across a turtle that you know isn't in the best shape you could use this watch to scrape the barnacles off its back so maybe it does have a multi-purpose jokes aside that is definitely something which san martin need to make a version to and just iron out literally those sharp edges and then the watch does have a fighting chance i still think it is just slightly too expensive it could do with being made slightly cheaper because that pt5000 you know isn't that expensive it's only around 60 to 70 dollars yeah you know definitely stay tuned for the comparisons that are going to be coming as a result of this so i hope you guys enjoyed that review i thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next video